they're just like us. Just different shape, that's all. Different shape. Just to color the world, you know? Just like different flowers. They are beings with all intelligence, all love, all resolution. Just like us. Hello, sweethearted viewers, and welcome to another effervescent episode of Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants. Today we'll meet four joyful individuals with fascinating stories about their delightful animal companions and the beautiful, harmonious relationships they share. We begin with our association member, Manisha, a lover of animals who lives in the enchanting country of Nepal. It all started when Manisha's cousin brought home eight fish in a tank. From that point on, Unfortunately, he did very little in the way of caring for the fish. During this period, Manisha started having dreams involving these fish. First, However, as a new caregiver, Manisha did not know where to find plant-based fish food for her finned companions. To the northeast of Nepal, at the foot of the Phoenix Mountain near Beijing, China, lives a man who sings heartfelt songs about saving animal lives. Sir Zhang is a vegan independent music producer in China. He is also the founder of the China-based non-profit group Don't Eat Friends that promotes the plant-based diet and animal protection. Don't Eat Friends often holds benefit music concerts with proceeds from the events going to various animal rights organizations, such as those seeking to stop bare bile farming or the fur trade in China. 
Mr. Shea also rescues and cares for stray animals and finds them loving forever homes. Animals are just like humans. Each and every one of them has a unique personality and lovable qualities. Let's meet one of Sejong's feline friends. Lai Chi, an affectionate cat who is as sweet as her name, was just a little kitten when she was found abandoned in 2008 and was suffering from a severe eye infection at the time. The infection almost blocked her entire right eye.你看这个时候刚练成这个结痂好大一块你看然后这个就是给他上了一点眼药水其实你看虽然你感觉很严重受到那么大的打击之后其实还是经过一段时间以后他们就可以恢复其实我们真的可以从动物的身上就学到很多东西就是这种动物和自然相处的这样的一种态度他们不会因为就是奢侈或者是享乐去破坏自然就是晒晒
occasionally came by to say hi. Over time, the marsupials and Leslie have formed a special bond, and kind-hearted Leslie feeds them delicious vegan foods like fruits every morning. One day, a frightening event happened. Leslie was present when her Joey or baby kangaroo friend was seriously hurt and sustained a deep wound on his leg. Thanks to Leslie's fast action, she saved the marsupial from further injury and certain death. Understandably, the baby's mother was tremendously upset about her son's condition. The Joey jumped into her pouch and the mother hopped away. Leslie could barely sleep that night, sick with worry about the fate of her small friend. Leslie couldn't believe her eyes when she saw the little baby Joey smiling at her the very next morning. I said prayers all night. My master helped me with her love and blessings. And in the morning, the mother came along with the baby to my front steps, and it, this was the most beautiful thing, I think. The mother looked at the baby, and the baby looked up at me, and it was like, what do you want to tell me? And the little ba baby kangaroos just started making these little noises like kick, 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 kick. And it was like, oh, what are, you, what are you saying? And then it just started telling me this whole story, and I felt like, Oh my God, okay, you're telling me all about it and how much it scared you. And it was like, yes, I understand you. I really was scared. I thought I was going to lose you. And it was looking up at the tree like it really understood what I was saying to it and it was saying to me. And it was really quite amazing that the gaping wound in its side of its leg was totally gone and healed that morning. And it was literally like a miracle had happened. To celebrate the little Joey's courage, Leslie named the lucky fellow Brave. And from that day onwards, that little baby kangaroo with its mother comes to my house, bangs its head on the door in the morning, comes inside and I feed it fruit and shares its life with me now. And it's the bravest kangaroo out of all the kangaroos that I have left living on my property, which I've probably got about 20 little wall, wall, baby wallabies and then all the other bigger kangaroos, but it's the bravest one out of the lot. And it knows me and it talks to me. I just go out to my veranda and I call out, brave, and it comes, it answers me and it comes hopping to me. And it's just a wonderful connection we've made. And even now when I still think about it, it just brings such joy. Indeed, animals are like jewels who truly brighten our lives. May we all love and treasure their precious existence on our shared planet, so that our world is always like Eden on Earth. We thank all the dedicated caregivers featured on today's show for providing such a warm and affectionate home to the animals. May all follow your noble example in how to kindly treat our animal friends. Friendly viewers, thank you for your charming presence today on our program. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May we always appreciate the wonderful companionship of the animals in our lives. For more details, please see www.suprememastertv.com forward slash AW.